Good evening, America. It is now September 18th, approximately 4.26 p.m. Why oh, you sound like Obama when you say 4? 4? 4? 4? 4.26 p.m. Well, I guess I have to be different because something's different about this right now, I guess. Yeah, I have a beard and you don't have a hat on. You have a beard? Where, where is your hat? I don't know. I think I might have lost my hat. He lost his hat. One of my hats. Yeah, I have a beard hats. though. But anyway, we don't want to make this too long. I have a lot going on lately. And uh, we just wanted to shoot a video out today to ask you all, what's next? Because there's a lot going on. We just want to know what's next. Yeah. What is next? Of course, you have the presidential election, of course. Yeah, I mean, you got Black Lives Matter right. still running around rampant, you know. Have a new world order. Yeah, you have you know, the new world. You got, yeah. you got a, lot, a, lot of, a lot of stuff going on. So, first off, I guess... What's next for for Trump? What's next for Trump? What do you think? We only have uh, maybe a month or two until the election or whatever. And then mm. I think he's been be bashing the media a lot, going back and forth. And uh, he's kind of seemed to overcome that. But I think that's more so due to the fact of Hillary. So what's what's next with Hillary? She seems to be going through a lot now. Oh, she keeps passing out. Yes. And it's a oh, beautiful It was a conspiracy theory at first of her passing out and you know her having... Uh, Illnesses or whatnot, it was a conspiracy theory. But, uh, but she opened a pickle jar. She opened a pickle jar, and that was uh, supposed to be a determining factor on whether she was sick or not. So, because she opened a pickle, she opened a pickle jar, jar on Jimmy Kimmel. But, um, so it's, it's kind of it's kind of up in the air now, you know. Some people, and they're still pushing the fact that she, you know, she's not sick, nothing's wrong with her. She's sick, yeah. yeah she, 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 she's sick. sick, she is sick, so she's very sick. But that's that's what we're, we're saying she's sick. But the media doesn't say that, so I guess we're lying. Even though she was seen falling out and you know, having to be helped to a car and all that. So, but yeah, she's she's don't listen to us. We're we're conspiracy theorists apparently, according to the mainstream media. But yeah, that's that's what's going on with Hillary. Also with Hillary, uh, do you, do you support Trump? Of course, I still support Trump, which I guess will make us trash, in a sense. We're in that big, wonderful basket of the deplorables. Yeah, wonderful basket. Yeah. Hello, all you out there. We're friendly deplorables. Friendly deplorables. Yeah, so that's what we are now because <laughs> it's called All Americans Who Support Trump Deplorables. deplorables. You know, all, well, not, not even well, she Americans. Said, she, she said, said Trump. She said half of Trump. Half You know, then, then, you know, her entourage came back and said, you know. She should have said She made a mistake in saying that because uh, that's the only mistake she made in saying that, that half of us were because all of us really are. Implying that, yeah, all of we're us are the horribles. She does, yeah. We're a disgrace. We we're a disgrace, you know, because we support <laughs> Trump. So, which one are you? Are you a xenophobe? Are you a homophobe? Are you a racist? Are you a bigot? Because she named those things. I mean, you got to be one of those things if you support Trump. Arachnophobe. Arachnophobe. Maybe you're just afraid of spiders or something. <laughs> I don't know. What are you? You're, you're something. There's a phobia or something going on. You have something wrong with you if you uh, support Trump. Oh, Trump. So, yeah. Hmm. And don't and, 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 to tell me that. Yeah, I didn't know I that. Didn't, I didn't even know that. I think that's an attack, another attack on free speech, to be honest with you. Of course. Just just to shut it down. You must be home. And a lot of people, especially with the whole race thing, if I call you a racist, you're going to shut up. You're not going to stand up and say anything about it because you, you know that that's coming racist. behind it. So. You don't yeah. want to be called a racist. It hurts you it really when you're hurts. called a racist. I don't like being called racist. No. So, you, you, you kind of shut down. You know, <laughs> it, it hurts you. You don't want to speak out. You don't want to put your opinion out there. Your opinion doesn't matter anymore because you know that you're going to be called a, a homophobe or a xenophobe or a racist if you have anything to say or, you know, any opinion on anything that's not coinciding with what they think. So, that annoys me. I think, I think we should, really, free speech. It is America. Free speech. You should go out there and be able to say exactly what you want to do. And anything you want to say. Anything say. If someone Whatever wants to is, call me, and this is, this is, this is, if someone wants to call me a nigga, that's, it, it's, hey. That's, that's true for, that's true for free speech. Back. Now, the repercussion that come behind that. It might not be too pretty. You have to you have to accept the consequences of things you say sometimes, but you you still have free speech. You can say what you, you say want to say. Say whatever you want to say. I mean, and you shouldn't have to worry about the consequences it. behind it because if you are brave enough to say, it, you should be able to accept what's coming behind it. Really. Exactly. So if you have something to say, say it. If you don't think that Black Lives Matter is a good organization that's actually benefiting America, say, say it. it. 
I don't think Black Lives Matter is a, is a good organization. I think they are really inciting terror and in America, and they aren't doing anything to benefit America. They're the new Armstrong, basically. And people, actually, we're gonna start like a, a hashtag or something. See, see if that. If, if that gets in the way. Since, since, since the left uses that to raise them. awareness, they use like, anytime someone gets shot or something, it's hashtag pray for, for this person, hashtag pray for that person, hashtag pray for this place, hashtag pray for that place, and then they change their, 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 uh, the filter, the filter on, the on their screen to a different color or something, as if that's going to do anything. So, yeah, man, we should do that too. What? Uh, let's see. Hashtag, uh, hashtag label me. Label me. Label me. I don't care what you say. You can call me a racist. You can call me a xenophobe. You can call me a homophobe. You can call me whatever I want to. If you don't think Black Lives, Black Lives Matter is a good organization that's good for the America, label me. say it. I don't think it is. Hashtag label me. Hey, man, there are, are, are people coming from over. Hashtag we got, we got our borders wide open. There are Hashtag label me. people coming in and they're Hashtag inciting terror on, our, on American soil. And I think we should do something about it. Hashtag label me. Label me. I don't think Lena Dunham is a beautiful woman. I don't yeah. think that her body is beautiful. It's not. I think that she could do a lot about that to make it a lot better instead of going around trying to tell everyone that they're body shaming. Hashtag label me. So yeah, hashtag label me. Say what you mean, mean what you say. If you got something on your mind, put it on social media. Put it put out it there. And if people don't like it, fine. It don't matter. Hashtag label me. I'm doing all right. Label. It's not going to make a difference in my daily life. Label me. So hashtag label me. I like labels. So yeah, as I said, quick video just to get out there, get your opinion on what's going on and what's next. What's next in America today? So remember, next time you're thinking, maybe I shouldn't say that, that's going to offend somebody. Say it with pride, knowing that you're an American, and hashtag label me. Label me. Label me. I'm just a label. So, Put signing it. out, and remember, to continue to fight for the Constitution, especially our First Amendment and Second Amendment rights, which are being infringed upon every day. With these. Signing out. Peace.